SOLIDWORKS Simulation Essentials teaches the fundamentals and proper practices for setting up, solving, and analyzing the results of finite element analysis problems. Without a core understanding of the background theory, the output of data could be incorrect. As simulation is used to validate the strength and safety of your design, it is crucial to use the tools appropriately. Attending this instructor-led classroom course requires the completion of SOLIDWORKS Essentials as only the simulation features are covered. This course covers static simulation studies using linear materials. The introductory lesson covers the basic theory behind finite element analysis. The stages of pre-processing, solving, and post-processing are covered. The five types of elements are introduced to explain the scenarios where they are most useful and their differences. Interpreting the final solution is important in determining if the solution has passed or failed. Setting up the simulation study is done within the SOLIDWORKS interface by selecting the study type, assigning materials, applying fixtures and loads, and finally meshing the model. Learn about the different types of fixtures and loads to represent your real-world application. Applying a good quality mesh is required for accurate results. Observe how refining the mesh should converge on a solution and gain an understanding of stress singularities and how to avoid them. SOLIDWORKS Simulation has two different solvers that can be used. Find out the differences between the direct sparse and the iterative solvers. Once the study is solved, resultant plots are generated to represent the stresses, strains, displacements, and more. Tools like the probe, isoclipping, and section clipping are useful to review the critical areas. Moving into the assembly environment, assign contacts to describe how components interact with each other. Adding virtual connectors like pins, bolts, and springs will save you time and effort along the way. Learn the difference between compatible and incompatible meshes to be used for your advantage. Thin components like sheet metal parts can take a long time to solve with solid elements. Changing to a shell element type can drastically lower the solution time while still providing suitable results. Different methods can be used to generate the shell elements, from sheet metal parts to surface bodies to defined faces. Take all of the previous information and start combining it into a model with multiple components, defining some as shells and some as solids. Contact sets may be required in some areas that have gaps or different element types. Simplify your structural members even further with one-dimensional beam elements. Allow these to significantly reduce the solve time for weldment features. Combine this in an overall study by having solids, shells, and beam elements to maximize efficiency. Submodeling is a powerful new tool to take the displacement information from an overall study and focus in on a small area for further refinement. Apply a tight mesh in the submodel for a more accurate result without needing to wait long periods of time for the large study to solve. Automate different scenarios with the use of design studies. Control loading conditions or model dimensions and review the results in a table form for an easy comparison. Learn other functionalities like determining internal stresses of a bimetallic part after heating or cooling. Adaptive meshing provides a way to automatically refine the mesh converging on a solution based on the strain energy error. And finish off with an example demonstrating the difference when using the small displacement mode versus the large displacement mode. SOLIDWORKS Simulation Essentials provides important information to ensure that your studies are providing accurate results. This three-day course will allow our SOLIDWORKS certified instructors to help you feel confident about your designs. Contact Javelin for dates and locations of the next SOLIDWORKS Simulation Essentials course.